Hello everyone, this is Mundan Nagavan and today we are going to cover the chart models. Chart models in simple, it is different from LLM. LLM gets the text in and text out, whereas chart models will be getting the chart messages. What are those messages? How the prompt template looks like? These are the things we are going to get into this video. Before to that, we will go to the code. We will try to understand previous video we have seen langchain.llms and we got the GPT for all, which is free obviously. But in case of chart model, we will not be getting the LLMs. We will be getting the langchain.chart models. And in this chart models, you have multiple things. But unfortunately, you don't have the GPT-4 all. So we need to use any one of the lists that you are seeing in the screen. We are going to use the chart open AA. In order to interact with chart open AA, you need to have an account in the openaa.com. Go to the openaa.com and look for the login or sign up. Once you have the sign up, you will be directly going to the apps and you will be seeing the three different apps, ChartGPT, DALI and API. We are going to interact through the Python code. So we need to click on the API key and you go to the profile and you can see the view API keys. You will be having the list of API keys that you have created. If you have not created, you need to create the new key. This key will be used in your code. This is the only two steps. Create a sign up and create an API key. Now coming to the code. You can just create one tokens.py. You can mention all the keys that you are going to use so that you can directly import from tokens import open API key. Okay, now coming to the main one, chart model. Chart models needs a chart prompt, obviously. In order to create the chart prompt, you need to create the chart prompt template. This chart prompt template needs two messages basically. One is system message, another one will be the human message. System messages is the one which gives the context to your chart model. What expectation you have from the chart model. Human message will be the basic input that you are giving. Based on the context, it will work on that. After working that, it will be giving the result in the way of a message prompt or a message prompt template. So we need to create system message and human message for our input. Those two things will be added under the chart prompt template. Let's see with some example. Imagine you have the template, you are a helpful assistant that translate input language to output language. This is our template. Whereas input language and output language can vary at the runtime so that we make it as a variables. Now we are creating the system message prompt template from template we are giving this one. So basically it will be the format of system message. Then human template, basically we are giving only the text value to that. So we are having only the variable name here. Still we need to create the human message prompt template. Human message prompt template dot from template, you are giving the human template. Now we are ready with system message and a human message. Now finally we are adding these two things under the chart prompt template. This is also another template, whereas it will be expecting two messages. One will be the system message and human message. Now we have the chart prompt also, final input to the model. Now we will be calling this the chart model. Before to that, we will see how the output looks like. Remaining code has been commented. Let's execute till this point. Here you can see the output, it is again a list. It has system message. The content is your helpful assistant that translate English to French because we have given the input language as English and output language as French. After that, you have the human messages. Again, the content is I love programming. Yes, this is the input we have given for the text. So you have the list of messages, system message and the human message. If you are giving this one to the chat, it will be giving the output. Before to that, we will see another way of creating the chart prompt template, which will be, just let me comment this and uncomment the remaining part. Okay, we need to comment this one also, great. Now you can see earlier we have imported the prompts from the chat, prompt template, or let's say system message, prompt template, human message, prompt template, and so on. 
here we are directly importing the schema. Basically, if you don't have any input variables, directly you can create the messages as a list. Here you can see the system message and human message. Directly you are giving the content and the human message content. This way also we can create. Let me execute and see the output. Even this message will be same because we are using the same content input here. However, we don't parameterize anything like a input languages and text value directly we are creating the messages. In both ways, we are creating two messages, system message and human message. Either way, you can create the messages based on your input. Now let's go to the final one. Now we will try to go one by one. It's a very important one. So far we have created the messages. Import OS, we are setting the environment variable open API key. Then open API key we imported from the tokens. In tokens.file, you will be having all the keys. Here I am showing the tokens example.py because I am not exposing the token value here. But basically you can use, use the same structure in your tokens.py and you can update your token there. Since open API key is there, we are just setting the environment variable here. Then we are creating the object for chat open AA. This will be the chat model from the open AA. We are setting the temperature. Whereas temperature, if it is a zero, that means that it will be consistent and it will be giving the same kind of output for every time you run the query. Whereas if it is the temperature is near to one or near to 0 0.9 or eight, it will be giving the random output. However, we will be giving for more creativity, we will be giving the 0 0.9. As of now, since it's a translation task, it does not matter still. Let's go to the second step, A message. We have the chart object, which is from the chat open A, predict messages. Then we are calling the chart prompt. Chart prompt we already created, which is the combination of system message and human message. But this has to be formatted because we have parameterized our input values such as input language and the output language. For that reason, we are just parameterizing format prompt, input language, output language, and the text. Unlike previous example, we are giving Hindi as the output language. Then it has to be converted into messages. We are giving as a messages. Then you will be getting the output, a message. In similar line, even you can use directly the messages that we created through the schema. Both will be having the same output. But we are going to cover as a predict messages method. Then even you can use the chain, LLM chain and you will be having the LLM. Now this time the object will be the chart open AI object and prompt will be the same prompt. And here you can use some different language, which is a French. And let's make it Tamil. When compared to the previous way, there we are not making any chains. In the second time we are making the chain. At this point of time, chain does not make any difference because we are not connecting to the other LLMs following, right? However, we can see the example here. We can create the chain also here. Let's run it and see the output. This is the A message. It has been converted into the Hindi. And second one, it is the Tamil language, South Indian language. This is also converted into Tamil. So now see the content what we have done so far. We have understood, unlike LLMs, we need to import the chat models and we use the chat open AI. In order to use the chat open AI, we created the account in openai.com and we took the API key and put it into any one of the tokens.py file. Then that has been used inside your code. Still, optionally, you can use the LLM chain that also has been created here or imported. In order to interact with chat models, we created basically two messages, system messages and human messages. This both has been merged under the chart prompt template. Even we have seen that we can create direct messages, system messages and human messages by using the schema also. Then after we use the open API key to authenticate ourselves to connect to the chat open API. So chat open AA. Then after using the same object, we predicted the message by using the chat prompt. We given our possible inputs and we created the output. In other way, we have seen 
directly calling the chat open ai also fine but we have created the llm chain object by using the chain object again we have given the input language output language and the text that has to be converted both the way it works fine the only difference is llm chain can be helpful in case if you are doing something extra chaining with other llms so this is the summary about what we have seen so far it concludes our chart model interaction with the different messages and the llm chain and we use the open api for open ai chat thank you everyone thanks for watching and have a great day and always be a rainbow in other cloud